Yeah, well, first of all, let's uh, give uh, credit to the uh, Billericay squad today. I mean, they're second in the league um, and they're second there. They're there for a reason. Um, they came with a sort of, you know, determination, put in a good performance today, and, and uh, uh, so it's, you know, it's their day today. So congratulations to them and to Kim and to, the, and to their squad. You know, from our point of view, I think it, we, it's a disappointing result, uh, but we need to set that against uh, you know the season that we, we you know we've had. And um, it was just today. It was one of those days that uh, I mean, I think second half I can't count on two hands how many chances we had on another day. One or two of those would, would, would go in. I mean, I think their keeper made a number of super, superb saves. Um, so it was now day to day. We're going to go again next week at, at Cambridge, where we're um, you know, back down at, down at Stenning. So hopefully we can uh, put it right and get back on the win, you know, winning trail with, with three points. First half was, yeah, a little bit disappointing, the, the first half in terms of the form. We spoke about that at half time. Uh, made some changes uh, in terms of the way that we, play, we were playing tactically as well. Um, so a lot better second half, but again, as I said, not had a day. Yeah. Um, next week, looking towards Cambridge, do we change anything? Do we go again? How do you see Cambridge uh, standing next week? Well, I think we're going to, you know, I think what we've got to do is we've got to reflect on some of the things that uh, perhaps didn't work so well for us in, in, you know, in the game of the day. And but again, I go and say we've got to set that against a season where you know the patterns of play that we've been, you know, we've worked on have stood us in good stead all season. And today, as I've said, uh, you know, we came out on the wrong end of a, a result. So training on Wednesday, we, you know, we'll get we'll get down to business and we'll work on some of the things that perhaps, as I said, weren't as sharp as they needed to be. There's a little bit of talking to be done as as, as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I expect us to get back on the uh, in the saddle next week. Yeah, plenty of positives in that second half, though, still to take out of the match. You say many chances that you had. Um, where else do you see the positives coming uh, from the, the Crawley Wasp team into next week's game? Yeah, I, I, th I think um, in terms of our, our you know our passing game, there were, were periods in the game where we did pass the ball uh, very very well. Uh, structured some some good good play. I think again defensively, as we've been all season, we were very solid. I mean, it's, I, mean I don't. If, if, I, if I'm honest, it was Billy Ricky's day, but I, I can't remember a save that Frankie Davis had to make apart from picking the ball out of the back of the net. So let's, let's, let's set that you know, the context of the, the game and the inter interview. I think defensively we were, we were very solid. Um, perhaps set in the central midfield area, we didn't get forward uh, at the level that I wanted to. Uh, certainly first half. Um, but then we weren't keeping the ball well enough uh, in that first half, in the, in, the, in the final third. And if you don't keep it well enough, it comes back, and therefore what you don't do is you don't get the numbers uh, built in there. We talked about that as I said half time. So from from a positive point of view, very solid again defensively. I think I think the back four um, again acquitted themselves very well. I mean they've, they've been super, or the back five have been superb all season. No different uh, today. Um,